Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jen and today I'm going to be providing you with a TTC update. For those that are new, I wanted to kind of give a little bit of background so you guys can all be on the same page and be caught up to speed. I did just transfer our last frozen embryo today, so I will go into that in just a moment, but just a little background as I stated. My husband and I tried to conceive um, our daughter for seven years and it took three IUIs, um, two miscarriages, and a fresh IVF cycle. So she was a day three embryo. From that cycle, we ended up getting two remaining frozen embryos. So we transferred two embryos with my daughter and then she was the lucky sticky baby. And then we transferred our second to last frozen embryo um, back in October. Now that was an IUI. Hmm. Nope, IUI was in April, so our frozen embryo was October, sorry. Crazy brain over here, so many hormones running through my brain <laughs> and body. Um, but to get back on track, um, yeah, so we ended up having another miscarriage from the IUI cycle as well as the frozen embryo transfer. So should we conceive with this, and we're hoping we did conceive with this one because I've had some pretty strong symptoms thus far that are similar to my previous rounds. Um, so this would be another double rainbow baby. So Tamsin was a double rainbow baby. We had two back-to-back -back miscarriages and we've had two back-to-back -back since um, leading up to this one. So um, with that being said, I believe I left off with our last update being the ultrasound and blood work and I didn't get to give you guys those numbers. So those numbers came back and everything looked great. Um, ovaries were nice and calm. Progesterone came in at a 0.2 and my estrogen came in at 60.2. So that was my last lining and blood work update. And I ended up having another one, um, I believe a week later, and that those numbers came back as, again, my progesterone was point, progesterone was point 0.2 and my estrogen was 303.2. So definitely significantly higher. They like it to see anywhere between um, 60 to 600 so we technically want to be within the first trimester phase and so today that leads us to today we had our frozen embryo transfer and I actually got a picture this is the first time I've ever gotten a picture and got to see our any of our embryos so our previous clinic um, again to catch those that are new up to speed I ended up transporting this last remaining embryo from a previous clinic to this clinic. Um, there were several reasons why um, and we definitely received validation today. Um, I actually found out that I have a tilted cervix and uterus and my OB had told me that but we didn't think it was reason for us not being able to conceive and on top of that we have male factor infertility. Um, but he definitely struggled getting the catheter in again so um, thankfully, he did a little maneuver and got things going in the right place, and this time we also um, made sure that the placement catheter was in place first before they inserted the catheter that had the embryo in it. So that made us feel a lot more reassured and comfortable with the whole process in this clinic. So that being said, I will go ahead and show you what our frozen embryo looks like. So I'm, I'm just covering up my personal information, mine and my husband's. So this top picture, there's actually two. So the top picture is when they first started thawing the embryo, and then this one was 10 minutes later. And you'll notice this is the actual Petri dish around it. You'll see the halo here. And then inside, which is like what looks like a yellow crust, that's the crust of the embryo. So it has to break through that shell and then um, implant into my uterus. So everything, oh, my uterine lining. So that's a big, big part. I left that out, sorry. Um, during my ultrasound, my lining was a nine point, he did two calculations. So it was 8.5, 9.3. So we're right there at 9.0, we would say would be um, a happy median. Um, so perfect and nice and receiving for the embryo. So 
we're super excited and super hopeful. Um, I'm still taking progesterone. I'm doing PIO, progesterone and oil injections. I'm on Del Estrogen, or not Del Estrogen, I'm on Estradiol or Estrace. So I'm taking the pill form, which is not what I'm used to. And I'm taking a baby aspirin. aspirin. I'll take baby aspirin until we see the heartbeat. And I'll continue Estrace and PIO until I'm released to my OB. Um, and generally after that, um, it's at my OB's discretion, but I know he'll have me on it until at least 12, 13 weeks just to make sure that everything makes it past the first trimester. And then generally after that, it's considered a sustainable or viable pregnancy at that point. And generally speaking, you know, once you're out of the trimester, first trimester, you're, you know, pretty much good to go. Um, so yeah, with that being said, um, I really don't have much else to let you guys know. So today is officially poopo day. I am pregnant until proven otherwise. I don't know when I'll test. I have several cheapy and um, Walmart tests. So um, I'll obviously, once I start seeing lines on those, go and get first responses so I can really see the lines start to progress and show you guys some progression. Cause I know those types of videos I really enjoy watching. And you know, it's nice to be able to have something to compare to you. Cause even though there's several videos on IVF and frozen embryo transfers, everyone's different. So it's nice to, you know, be able to watch several different types of videos instead of the same um, types. And you don't necessarily see a, you know, progression of tests. You usually just see like, oh, I'm pregnant, you know, here's this and then here's my digital and then we go into, you know, pregnancy updates. So I'm gonna try something a little bit different than I usually do and, you know, show you guys the progression lines. Um, you know once we get to that point but please hope and pray for us and if you're trying to conceive I wish you nothing but the best of luck and we're praying for you as well um, I hope your journey ends happily just like we hope that ours does too so thank you so much for watching if you are new here thank you so much for joining my channel I do make uh, TTC videos as well as DIYs but as of right now I'm trying to you know keep up with these and I want to get these videos out because it seems like you guys really enjoy my TTC updates so I'm going to try to keep pushing those out for you but if you want to see anything specific or anything new then make sure you let me know in the comments down below and I'll do my best to gear my content towards what you guys are looking for but otherwise I hope you guys have a great day and thank you so much for watching bye